How to sell ebooks on Shopify. Now my name is Elias and in this video we are going to cover everything from creating your cover, creating a good looking mockup for your store so that you're actually going to convert people into buying as well as creating basically as well as basically automating everything so that the customer is automatically going to get access to your ebook uh, which normally Shopify doesn't actually offer. So we're going to cover all that. Now, to get started, we will actually have to head over to a tool called Figma. I will also leave you the link for this down below. Now, with this Figma tool, we can basically create our design as well as our mockup. Now, I will leave you the tool for this, uh, the link for this down below. And once you are on the Figma dashboard right here, you will have to click on Explore Community on the bottom left. And then you will have to look for Customizable book mockup. This is the free file that we are going to use in this video. So just open it in Figma right here. This is going to redirect us. Da, da, da. And now we do have our Figma file open. And to actually change the view, we are going to click on mockups on the left. And now we are going to have tons of different mockups, which we can actually use for our ebook to actually make sales with those. And I'm going to show you how to actually um, edit them right now. Now, to get started, you can see that we have the example cover right here. The file size is going to be 600 times 830, which is important to know. And now we are actually going to go back to our files. So I'm go going to open up a new tab. Now we are going to create a new design file. Then we are going to create a new frame right here. And this frame is going to have the size. Let's quickly change this. This is going to have the size 600 times um, 830 right here and this is basically going to be the cover for ebook and now we could go ho go ahead and add some text to this so i will actually just create a shopify beginner ebook then i'm going to select this i'm going to make this uh, quite bigger we can then change the styling of this text right here um, we can also change the overall font of this and generally this basically is a super good free to use tool uh, because it actually works way better than Canva for example. However, obviously you can also go ahead and use Canva to customize this if you want to. Now you would then just have to continue this by for example adding the Shopify logo onto this right here and basically you will just have to customize this to the kind of ebook that you are going to sell on Shopify. Um, now for that reason, it doesn't really make sense for me to continue uh, creating this example thing right here. I'm just going to go, um, I'm just going to use my full A to C beginner course completely free on Shopify as for this video as an example. By the way, you can check this out down below. Completely free, no upsells whatsoever. Um, so if you want to learn more about Shopify, make sure to check that out. So as for this video, I'm actually going to use this as a cover. Then we are going to go to this uh, page right here and then we are going to then select the mockup that we want to actually edit. Now obviously depending on what kind of mockup you're going to use, the editing process is going to be slightly different. Um, I can't actually go over all of them in this video, however I will um, I will just use this one, I guess. And in general, the process is going to be exactly the same. And you're also going to get some, um, basically you're also going to get a tutorial right here. But as for this mockup right here, we would then have to open and select this mockup. And now we would have to open this mockup thing. Then we would have to click on change here. And now right here, we can then change the texture of our ebook. Um, so this would be this thing right here. In my case, I just uploaded my ebook right here. Then I'm going to uh, delete this recommended thing on the top right. And now, as you can see, this uh, reflection still isn't customized. So we would have to also customize this. So just open this, click on change here, click on texture, and then repeat this process by adding your picture or adding your color, I guess. But just upload your picture right here. Now this got updated and we can also further improve this by, for example, changing the color right here on the right. So to do that, just select the mockup then select the color right here and you can then change this to whatever you want. I will just select this Shopify green color right here. 
Okay, I think this actually looks pretty good. Um, now you can actually also then customize some other mockups of these. In general, the, the overall process is going to be at its core the same. Right here, you would then have to upload your picture and so on. But for now, we are actually done. Now you can actually export this and you can then use this for Shopify. So once you have your product and once you have your ebook created, we can head back to our Shopify dashboard. And now we can basically get started adding our product. So click on products right here, click on add product, and now we will have to give this a title. In my case, as once again, I'm going to use this free beginner course. I'm actually going to name this Shopify beginner course. And now we can actually let AI generate us a description. So I will just put in Shopify beginner guide, um, easy, profitable online store. And then I'm going to let AI generate something for me. Let's see. All right, and now I'm just going to keep this. Obviously, you would actually have to read through this to see if this is actually if this is actually real and if you can actually use this for your product. Now, under media right here, you will then have to upload your uh, mockup that we have just created. So let me quickly do that. And as you can see, now we have our mockup uploaded. As for pricing, I'm just going to say five euros. You can actually also track the cost per item for this. However, as this is going to be a digital product, most of the time you aren't going to have an actual cost for this. So I'm just going to leave this blank. And um, as for the quantity, now if you want to make a special offer where you're only going to sell, let's say 20 ebooks of this, then you can do that by just putting in 20 right here. However, as for most, uh, digital products you do actually want to sell multiple ones and the basically the upside of creating digital products is that you can sell unlimited copies so we aren't actually going to track the quantity right here because we do have unlimited copies of our ebook right here um, now as for the shipping this is a physical product is not true so we are going to untick this and as for variants if you do have some special variants, for example, let's say that you are going to sell the ebook and on the second variant, you are also going to offer a special offer. And then you can basically set that right here. You would then have to set an option name and the option values. However, in most cases, this isn't actually useful. Now click on save. And as of right now, if someone is actually going to buy this product, um, basically they aren't going to receive the actual product. You would then have to manually send this ebook to that person, to the customer, which obviously is just a big headache. So to actually bypass that, we're going to head back to our Shopify dashboard. And now we're going to look for digital downloads right here on top. Click on search for digital downloads in the Shopify app store and we're actually going to download this app right here. Now this app is 100% free. It is directly made from Shopify. So you aren't going to pay any extra for this. And this will basically allow you to uh, automate the whole process. So I'm just going to click on install app right here on the top right. And then da -da 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 -da. let's see. Okay. Right here, we then have our digital downloads app and we will then have to select the product that we want to add some files onto. In this case, this would be this product right here. And now we can actually add our ebook file. In my case, I'm just going to upload an example PDF right here. And actually you can also upload multiple ebooks and the, basically the total size limit is going to be five gigabytes. So let's actually quickly check if this actually works. So let's head back to products. Then click on Shopify beginner course um, and let's uh, let's actually preview this right here. So as you can see, now we do have our product page set up. And once someone is actually going to buy this, they're then going to get a pop-up where they can directly uh, download that ebook. And they are as well going to get an email where they're then going to have unlimited access to your ebook and where they can then download that ebook multiple times. Now, if you want to actually get my full A to C beginner course for completely free, make sure to check that down below. Either way, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.